When a person is diagnosed with an MPN, they have a whole healthcare team. Who's typically on that team? Well, it's interesting. Yeah, that's evolved over time. It used to just be patient and their local oncologist, right? And the oncologist uh, office has become a very busy place with mostly solid tumors, so breast, prostate, colon, and then maybe a few scattered patients in most practices with uh, blood cancers. Obviously, blood abnormalities are common with platelets and, and anemia and all of that, but to actually have an MPN patient in the general hemong practice is actually quite rare, right? These diseases are four to five out of 100,000 people. Now, fast forward to the modern era, I think this is important. I think now what I, I personally encourage, and I've obviously I'm biased because I'm here at the academic center, but I really think that patients with rare blood cancers such as MPNs should be co-managed. So be seen by your local hematologist oncologist for sure, they know you the best but also have a referral if you're able to and have the resources and ability to travel to an academic center where you can see a a blood cancer specialist such as me or my colleagues, as I only focus on blood cancer. So I'm not seeing patients with the solid tumor. So local oncologist, if you can have a blood cancer expert as part of your care, doesn't have to replace the care. And then, you know, to have a, uh, a member of the nursing allied professions, nursing and APP advanced practice providers is really becoming essential to help with acquiring the prescriptions from the specialty pharmacy, prior authorizations, teaching of the injectables such as interferon, figuring out uh, enrolling on clinical trials. So, uh, and then if you have a patient young and fit with myelofibrosis, you'll wanna be consulted with a stem cell transplant doctor And then finally, as if that wasn't enough, I think a good pharmacist uh, team is important nowadays to go over the drug to drug interactions, side effects. It's not just about the JAK inhibitors, but all the other medicines, antibiotics and and everything else that may be a bit unique to the MPN patient compared to the general uh, cancer patient. 